Chloe, two big, big games coming up for you and the girls. You'll be facing off against Rangers in the Cup and only a week later in the league. Are you ready? Of course, yeah. Um, I think these are the games that we want to be playing uh, week in, week out. So it's something that we've been looking forward to. Um, we've been practising and training. So for it to actually finally be here, um, to say that we're all buzzing is an understatement. So yeah, we're all looking forward to it. You're a Celtic fan as well as a player and have played Rangers many times. What's it like going out onto the pitch to face your rivals? I don't think there's any other feeling like it. The tingles that are going through your body and when you hear like, the crowd and if it's our home park uh, and you can hear like, the Celtic music going on as you're walking out, it's an incredible feeling, um, especially to put on the jersey as well with the badge over your chest. So it's something that is a great honour. And you've been with Celtic since 2008 with over 215 appearances for the club. What's this season been like compared to the rest so far? Um, this season, I think it's one where we all believe in each other and we can go out there and we can achieve the goals that we've set for each other and for us as a team. Um, it's exciting, it's, a, it's, a, it's professional, um, so we're just going out there and doing our jobs. And you've got experience playing in these big Glasgow derby matches. What advice do you have for those newer faces in the squad heading into these big games? I think you just need to take it as it comes. Um, I know that there's going to be a lot of excitement and a lot of nerves, but as soon as you walk onto that park and the whistle goes, your mind just focuses, it just goes. Um, yeah, they're a big team, we're a big team as well, but we know that we believe in each other. We believe that we can go out there and they know that we're going to be there to pick them up if mistakes happen. But at the end of the day, they're here for a reason, because they're good enough. Now you beat Rangers in all three matches last season in the league. These were quite close games with close score lines. Tell me a bit more about your last meeting, winning 2-1. It was a challenging game, it always is. But I think that it shows the hunger and the passion that we have to keep on going and um, to get that, that goal at the end. It's always nail-biting throughout the game. Um, but it's something that you love. It's something that makes you want to go more, like push that a little extra, so, and that's what we've done. So, yeah, it was, that was a good game for us. How do these games differ to, to even the bigger games against the likes of Glasgow City? What is the key difference between that and a Rangers game? There's not much except from just like the background of like the game, but I just think that there's, there's a little bit more of a special surrounding against a Celtic and a Rangers game. So, yeah, we just take it. And what do you and the team need to do to try and get two wins from these Rangers games? We just need to believe, we just need to push each other. Um, we need to work hard in training and just knuckle down things that we think that we need to work on. Um, but apart from that, we just need to remember that we are, we are Celtic um, and we're just as big as what they are. Um, we're better than what we have been previous years um, and I think this is the year where we believe in us as a team and each other that we can go out there and, and dominate the league. And how has the manager and the coaching staff been preparing you for these fixtures? They've just been like hyping us up. Um, they've had the spirits up in training, so their mood runs off on us. So for them to be excited, it, it helps us be excited and it helps us getting, getting into the mood and getting into the zone. And Rangers have had quite a good start to the season, both in the league and the cup, and are currently top of the league table. How do you think they've improved on last year? Of course, yeah, uh, they've added uh, players to their team. Um, and that's credit to, credit to them. And we know that they're going to be a good team. But from last season, you can see with the amount of players that they've added and the talent that they've got, it is going to be tough. But we're in the same boat. We've added to our team and we've got players in that we probably never thought we would have. Um, so, yeah. Chloe, looking forward to watching two games and hopefully it's two wins from two. Hell, hell.